Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We are going to be doing the Dragon Awaken, so let's get this uh, kicked off. Uh, the carnival continued and Kite visited his brother Hart. Hart, how you feeling? I've gathered more numbers to help you. Before you know it, you're gonna feel a lot better. I just need you to keep hanging in there. You think you can do that for me? Brother, I must go. In a sphere of light, Hart escaped onto the streets of Heartland. Hart appeared in front of Yuma in the middle of the busy streets. I know that kid. It's Kite's little brother. Where do you think he was heading? I have no idea. We should get him back to Kite, so we'll have to track him down somehow. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen if you see Kite. There's going to be trash talk and then a duel, and if you lose, then... How about we worry about that part when we get to it? Yuma tracked Hart down and followed him to the top of a mysterious tower. While at the top of the tower, Yuma and Hart were confronted by Quentin. Who are you? I'm Hart's friend. I'm here to help Hart, isn't that right, Hart? Or I'm here to help, isn't that right, Hart? Hart will per be perfectly safe with me, I assure you. Let's go. After Hart was taken by Quentin, Yuma had to team up with Kite in order to find him. Tell me where Hart is. The guy you sent came in a chopper to pick up your brother. I didn't send anyone to pick him up. Then he wasn't your friend? Stop trying to fool us. We weren't manufactured yesterday, you know. It's my fault. I should have I shouldn't have let Hart go. I'm sorry. Hart isn't well, I hope I find him soon. I'll help you find him. This is my problem, not yours. I made a promise to Hart that I'd bring you back both back together. Fine. Yuma and Kite eventually tracked Quentin and Hart down. Quentin was with his two brothers, Quattro and Trey. Really? Really? the names really if it is if it isn't that famous or the infamous kite what an honor hey it's quattro are you the ones who took my brother where is he relax no harm has come to him at least not yet ha 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 what's that supposed to mean when we're finished we'll turn heart back over to you and whatever's left of him i'll crush you creeps and get my brother out of here i'd like to see you try trey take out this twerp for me with pleasure let's duel please tell me i get not Yuma. Anybody but Yuma's deck. I, I will accept using Kite's deck. Please. Please, let me use Kite's deck. Please. Kite's deck. Not not whatever crap I'm about to have to use of Yuma's. Please. Please, I beg you. Yes, I get to use Kite's deck. It's gotta be better than Yuma's piece of crap. We all know Yuma's deck is just a big old pile of junk that no one wants to use. I want to duel as anybody other other than Yuma. No one wants to duel as Yuma. Bronx's deck was better than Yuma's. Oh yes, he's got Galaxy. Oh my gosh, he's got Galaxy Eyes Dragon. He's got Galaxy Eyes Dragon, and this is gonna be beautiful, maybe. Must search your side while you control the monsters. If you control, <laughs> this card cannot attack. If you control no monster special, summon one level 4 or lower photon or galaxy monster from your deck. You can only activate one Excella light per turn. You cannot normal summon slash set during this turn. Okay, whatever. I can't normal summon or set anyway. Photon Crusher. Turn, you can increase this card's level by 8 until the end phase. You can tribute this card, add one galaxy card from your deck to your hand, except Galaxy Wizard. We're going to go in defense mode. I'm gonna go defensive opposed to offensive here at the beginning. Uh, call the Haunted, let's throw that. Activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special summon that card in attack. When this card leaves the field, destroy that target. Oh, that's the stupid Call the Haunted. Target one Galic Photon or Ga Oh, this is, wait. In your graveyard, special summon and then it cannot attack or activate its effect. If it would be destroyed during the battle phase, you can destroy this card instead. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon. Oh, buddy. If you control low five or higher photon or galaxy monster spell, summon low five da, 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 from your deck and pay da, 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 You can only activate one. Da, 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 da. Special summon two photon tokens in defense position. These tokens cannot attack or be used as synchro until you cannot summon other monsters turn. You activate this card. So, what the heck is the point of that card? You can't just give you extra defense, I guess. I guess you could switch them into attack mode, but you have to actually get to that point. Oh, terraforming. 
What's he gonna play? What's he gonna do? Okay. Galaxy Knight. If you control a Photon or Galaxy Monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing. When you do target one Galaxy Eyes, uh, uh, if possible. Regardless, this card loses 1,000 attack, and if it does, special summon that target, if any. And any in face of defense, this attack decrease lasts until the end of the turn. Okay. Uh. Yep, give me give me Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Give me it. This is this is just oh. Yes! Give me him! Give me him! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay! Let's see what this effect is. As any of its material. Negate the effect of all other face-up cards currently on the field. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz mo the material from this card, detach all Xyz from this card, then this card gains 5 attack for each. Also, it can attack up to that many times during each battle phase this turn. Each battle phase? There's more than one battle phase each turn? Okay. Oh, that's cute. He's, he's playing Chronomalies. I can't switch these to attack mode. What is this? That special. Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, Chronomaly City Babylon. Chronomaly Aztec map. Oh, he's going for his synchro. It's on. It is on. It is on. I have Mirror Force now. Why can't I activate Call of the Haunted? I don't know. I can do 4,500 damage, though. <gasps> 4,500 damage, are you kidding me? No, I won't do it. Oh, what's he dropping? Oh, he's summoning something and face down to fetch. I should have mirror forced. I would have won. Oh, would you look at here? You can special summon one Phoenix Photon from your hand or deck. Huh, okay. Why can't I activate his ability? I don't know why I can't activate his ability. Alright, Trey, are you gonna do anything? This deck is so much better than freaking Yuma's. I like despise Yuma's deck. I like never want to use that crap ever again. Don't want to use that piece of crap. Why can't I activate these? Unless I just can't do it because of Galaxy Eyes, or Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I don't know what's going on, why I can't summon, why I can't activate any of these cards. I could activate Mirror Force. Oh, it's probably this. I don't know, no. I don't know what it is. What is this? Okay, well, am I gonna win here, Trey, or do you got a face down card? No, nope, you lost. Wow, thanks, that was easy. Thanks, Trey. You, yeah, we did it, Kite. You didn't do anything, Yuma. Shut up. You're finished. Now, where's my brother? Sorry, all of a sudden I can't remember. Why, you... Your brother is right here. Hey, I remember you. You're the guy from the tower. Quentin? You know him, too? Yeah, he was once my teacher, but that was a long time ago. Hart, are you okay? Talk to me. You should know that after all he went through, he had little strength left, but he still chose to give it to you. He gave you everything he had so that you could summon Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. You mean he's unconscious because of me? You've got a lot of explaining to do, pal. Start talking. You're as persistent as your father. Huh? What do you know about my father? 
Your father is alive, Yuma. He's in Astral World. Wait, hang on. Cosmic Chaos Campaign Duel, The Dragon Awakens Reverse, Trey Deck Avatar, Trey Chronomaly Relics, uh, Challenge Deck, Signature Card, Chronomaly Machu Mech, Chronomaly Technology, Chronomaly Mole, Moy Carrier, and Victory Duel Points. So before we go into that, we did unlock a pack last episode, I just remembered that, and I did not open any of the kites. Oh yes, Galaxy Eyes! Oh yes, give me those, give me, give me Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, I need that in my life. Swordsman of Revealing Light. I'm surprised it took him this long to make that card. Mystic Water Dragon. No, oh, give me Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I want that. I want that. No, not, no. Give me Galaxy Eyes Photon. I got so many dual. Oh yeah, Paladin of Photon Dragon. That's cool enough for me. But no, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Awesome. I need to get my Galaxy Dragon collection started back up. I had it kind of, and then I was like, eh. And then I got offered a decent amount of money for it, and I was like, eh, okay. I need to start that back up. We got, I gotta start collecting Galaxy Eyes again. I have a Ghost Heart Earth Dragon. Okay, we'll open like three more of these. I want just regular Gaggle Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Oh, God. Can I just get regular Galaxy Eyes Photon? I want to throw them in my deck. No. Oh. I don't want Gear Gear stuff. I want Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Galaxy Eyes Photon. No. Son of a bitch. Give him to me. Give me Galaxy Eyes Photon. Neo Galaxy Eyes. Okay. I'm just going to pull every other Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon thing that you can pull except the actual Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. He's probably not even in this pack. Would make no sense if he wasn't, but... Heretic Dragon of King Al... Atem. Okay, let's open up a few more of these. I'll open up three more after this one. Radius the ha- Oh, friggin' Photon Papal Operative. Oh, Photon Ang Alexandria King. Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Hel Heliopolis. It's such a long- It's such a crazy name. Who comes up with these names? Heraldic Beasts. Dang it, here we go, last pack. Last pack, can I pull him? Come on, give me Galaxy, I just want regular Galaxy Eyes Photon. Ah, oh, Man. Okay, well, back into the campaign we go. Cosmic Chaos. Oh, we still have, we, have, we still have a lot to go. I didn't know how close we were getting to the end. Alright, Cosmic Chaos, let's do this. The World Duel Carnival Finals were about to begin and all contestants were preparing. In his room, Kite met with Mr. Heartland. I do hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just checking to see if everything is alright. I'm fine, Heartland. Now that so many numbers have gathered in Heartland City, things are really heating up. So it goes without saying that I appreciate that you're dueling for me. Duel I'm dueling for Heart, not you, understand? Heart, me, does it really matter? As long as you get all the numbers, that's what counts. Soon after the duel, the finals began, Dextra confronted Vic Vetrix in order to protect Kite. Vetrix planned to use the World Duel Carnival in order to take revenge on Dr. Faker. Vet Vetrix, I don't know what your goal is in this tournament, but I'm not letting you duel Kite. Ah, why do you care so much about what happens to him? Because I care about him, that's why. Well, isn't that precious? Dextra was defeated, and Vetrix used his special ability to steal De Dextra's memories. Meanwhile, Kite and Yuma finally got the answers from Quentin. It's fitting that the three of us should meet now. Destiny has clearly brought us together. Tell me where my father is. He did already. He's in Astral World, you idiot. Alright, before Kite and I duel, I'll tell you everything I know about your father. You could share your story some other time. I want to duel now. It can wait. The story that I'm about to tell concerns you as well. Perhaps it will help you understand my family's actions. About why we are competing in the duel carnival and targeting Kite and his brother Hart. The answer is that they are linked to our real enemy. We seek revenge against their father, Dr. Faker. Dr. Faker is Kite and Hart's father? You mean the same guy who built up Heartland? It began five years ago. Dr. Faker and my father, Byron Archlight, or Arclight, were working together in search of a door that could lead to other worlds. Huma, they contacted your father to help them with their calculations in finding the portal. With their combined knowledge, they were able to find the location. They immediately went there, and only for Dr. Faker to betray the other two. 
Faker needed to sacrifice two souls in order to open the portal, which is exactly what he did. My father couldn't believe how Faker betrayed them. That was the last anyone saw of my father, too. But one day, my father did return. He found a way to travel through interdimensional gaps until he reached this world again. However, there was a price. His appearance became warped until he was no longer recognizable. My father now calls himself Vitrix. I thought he was a kid. It's all fa Faker's fault. He betrayed my father, and I've sworn to someday get revenge. This doesn't change anything. Dr. Faker means nothing to me. I only care about heart and getting even for what you did. Move away, Yuma. Oh, yay. Do I get to jewel his kite again? This is good. This is good. I like this. I like this. This has been a good episode. No no freaking Yuma deck. No trash Yuma. Ga, ga, ga. Go, go, go. And ah, cha, cha. Crap. No one wants to use that stuff. All right, Quentin. Oh, dang it. Quentin, go second. Go second. I kind of want to go first. Go second. No. The one time I want to go second, or I want to go first, they pick to go second. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Alright, not a bad... Not a bad hand. Not a bad hand. Okay. Stop playing a bunch of cards. I'm trying to look at my hand. Okay. Galaxy Wizard. Photon Pirate. Photon Thrasher. Okay. Let me summon that. And then I think, do I want to go with Galaxy Wizard? I'm going to go with Galaxy Wizard. I know I can't attack, but uh, there's a point to this. There is a point to what I'm doing. Okay. What? Oh, I just get two Neo Galaxies this time. Oh boy! There is a point to what I'm doing here. You will see soon. Oh, quick draw Synchron. Alright, we're going for a Synchro Summon. Are we? Is he going for... Oh, he's not going for a Synchro Summon. Hmm. Photon Crusher. Okay, let's do that. Oh, it actually went through. I, was, I, I did not think that that attack would go through. There we go. There are my life points. Or my attack points are back. Okay. Gravity Blaster. What the heck does Gravity Blaster do? Call the Haunted. Okay, let's do that. Oh, he drew another one of those cards. Oh, great. Hopefully I can use Call the Haunted here. Actually, I don't even really want to use it. Do I? No, I don't think I do. I will use it now. Oh, he's playing Call the Haunted. It's just a Call the Haunted party. Is he gonna overlay? Oh no, he can't overlay yet. Hmm. Okay. One galaxy card from your deck to your hand. Should bring 
during either player's when this card battles an opponent. So you can target that monster. This card is battling. Banish both the opponent's monster and this card. Your eight monsters banish galaxy. You get if you control special summon. You can only activate one. Well, that was an easy decision. Give me galaxy eyes, <laughs> photon dragon. Okay, I think we can attack now. Okay, go ahead and attack there. He's gonna be close to losing. I don't know why he did th what he did so far. I don't know what his face down cards are, but whatever they are, they're not helping him at all. Did he set magic cards that like? That's all. He oh, he's just got a bunch of call the haunteds. Is that what's going on here? Is he gonna exceed summon or no? What is he doing? What is he smoking? Okay, well, I think that's GG. No, think I think that's just about gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, that was weird, to say the least. I can see now that there are things more powerful than revenge. Deep down, I always knew that was true. But today, you helped me remember it, Kite. At first, I was hoping that I could save my father, but Byron Arclight really had become someone else. Vitrix was obsessed with his desire to get revenge against Dr. Faker. I got caught up in his plan for revenge. I felt it was my duty as a son. It isn't. Once I save Hart, I'm going to confront my father. And not only that, I will do what you couldn't do. I'll stop Vitrix's quest for revenge just like you wanted. You've grown strong, Kite. I am proud to have been your teacher. Goodbye, Kite. Goodbye. Okay, Swimming with Sharks campaign duel, Cosmic Chaos Reverse, Quentin Deck Avatar, Quentin Deck Recipe, uh, Dyson Sphere Blast Challenge Deck, Signature Card Dyson Sphere, Nightmare Steel Cage, UFO Turtle, and some victory duel points. Alright, Swimming with Sharks, we'll do this one, and then call it an episode, I guess. Uh, the next w World Dueling Carnival match began. It was it was at the final showdown between Shark and Quattro. Shark meant to take revenge after for his sister's defeat. I finally caught up with you. You get tired of running from you, please. You played right into my hands. Hey, nice and nice and short, short and sweet dialogue right there. They're not ta they're not they're not having words. They're, we're just dueling. We're just doing this. Hopefully Shark's deck is not a load of dookie. That would be nice. Well, I'm gonna have to go first. So this should be interesting. So Um what what is the name of that stupid overlay shark that he uses? Alright, not bad. Not a horrible hand. This isn't great. So we've got Submersible Carrier Arrow Shark, Shark Drake. We got another number. What is this? Once per turn, you can special summon one level 4 lore from your hand. You must control no monsters to activate and resolve this effect. Let's do that. Some of this. Target one face of fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster control, it gains a thousand attack. Okay. Foolish burial, what do you send? Oh, he's using. I don't know how to. I have never. I've never dueled gimmick puppets, so I don't know how gimmick puppets work. Never gone up against gimmick puppets. I don't know. I, did, I don't know how they work. How do you uh guess I'll just do that. Then I'll do this. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on guys, I'm gonna be silent for a second. I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I just blew my nose. That stops me from sneezing. If I can just blow my nose, I don't have to sneeze. 
I should have switched this. No, I don't think I could have. Dude, I don't know how to. I don't know how gimmick puppets work. Oh god. <laughs> The hot, the quick GG. Number 40 gimmick puppet. Oh, no. oh god. Okay, well. Well, um. I'm about to just say screw it and use my deck because I don't know if I can beat this dude with this dookie deck. Well, I'm not winning this duel, so I'm gonna surrender. Yeah, we're just gonna go and use my deck, screw it. See, I had to be able to get those cards on the field, and that's just that just ain't happening right now. I just cannot. We're gonna use my deck. Screw it. I'm gonna make a little bit quicker decisions now on whether or not I want to use my deck or not. I'm not gonna always use it, but this really doesn't have any sentimental value to me. For oh, let me use their deck. Yay! Like I don't really have any sentimental value to use these decks. So I'm willing to use my OP deck for fun. Because that's what this series is all about. It's having fun. Alright, I'll take this hand. I'll take it. Not a horrible hand. No oh, pot of duality. Let's go ahead and... Soul charge. Yeah, I don't need that right now. Another breaker. Probably end up just taking that. Uh, I'll take the other. I'll take Breaker. Now play Breaker. Get rid of his spell card. What was it? If your opponent's life points are at least two thousand. You can. Oh my god! Oh god! That card is OP. Alright, Quattro, what you gonna do? Oh, he's gonna play Gimmick Puppet. Of course. Uh, of course. He's gonna overlay him now. Oh, yep, here comes the overlay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This isn't some cheap BS or anything that you can just drop level 8 Gimmick Puppets like that. Like, this is why I don't duel in actual Yu-Gi-Oh. This is, like, so cheap. You can't even have a fun deck. You just get reamed by stuff like that. And if it's an actual person, they play it a whole lot better than I could. <sighs> okay. Something good. Give me something good. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, get your crap off the field. Um... I could bring it back, but I'm gonna go this route. I think I know what I'm doing. I think. No, maybe I don't. Nope, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, well, okay. Well, that was my bad. My bad. But we're still alright. Okay, 2,900 left. <laughs> Alright, now I'll use this, I guess. Throw her in defense mode. I don't want to destroy a monster. I probably should have waited until- I should have wait- I should have waited! What was I smoking?! Okay. Oh, ancient rules. Only that doesn't help me right now. All right. Oh no! Oh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. My OP Scrap Iron Scarecrow from 5Ds is coming back to bite me. It's gonna bite me in this. Oh no! Oh no! Get out of here with your stupid gimmick puppets, man! F you and all your gimmick puppets, you douchebag! You douchebag! See, this, this, this is just too much. This is too much. I could have won this duel if I wasn't stupid. You suck, Quattro. Well, here we go. What am I gonna draw? Oh, Wonder Wand. 
too. Well, we are, uh, we are gonna give this a go. Because of the cards that I could possibly draw. Much better options than what I currently got on the field. Get rid of your stupid crap iron scarecrow. And, and, and this is what I draw. And this is what I draw. <sighs> the luck, dude. The luck. I need to edit my deck, though, and get it under the card limit, but, dude. Getting reamed by gimmick puppets, man. Yeah, I'm using my user deck. Screw, screw this, man. See, the one issue with doing this kind of series that they, you know, it's a great idea. They got 40 bucks out of me, but what I do want to say is it's extremely unfair because in the show, Kaiba's deck is clearly a hundred times better than Yugi's, but Yugi always wins because it's a TV show, it's not real life. But when you introduce semi-real life things into this stupid game, like, oh, you know, it's a fair duel, it's just luck, it's RNG on whether or not you draw what you need, so, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of at the game's mercy. Oh, look, MST. Isn't it a good thing that I wasted that on that? Oh look, a gimmick puppet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, go gimmick puppet Twilight Joker. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't drawn Graceful Charity, I haven't drawn Card Destruction, I haven't been drawing like any of the cards I need. Oh yeah, it's gimmick puppet time, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's time to summon the big boy. Aw oh, yeah. Now Quattro, you can suck on 3,000 damage. Bro, suck on that. Come on, something good, good draw, good draw. Card destruction, give me card destruction. Really, put BLS, you give me, you give me BLS. Everything you could have given me, you give me BLS. Oh, Magical Mallet, thank you. Come on. You- okay. Okay. I was about to say, you have got to be kidding me, but I drew the card that I needed. Thousand knives. Say goodbye to your stupid gimmick puppet. I guess I can set a card this turn. That works. All right, Dark Magician. All right, we're close. We're close, but all it takes is him dropping something stupid. He's only got one card in his hand. I don't foresee how he's going to do this. But the game always knows how to surprise me. It always knows how to surprise me. Okay, okay. Great, good, good, beautiful. Pot of duality, thank you. Graceful charity, card destruction. Pot of greed, something. Magician of faith is not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. But I will take red eyes. Not what I wanted, but you know, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it, I guess. Why can't I play Ancient Rules? Red Eyes is a level 5 or high. I don't know why I can't do it. Um, okay. Yeah, GG. Yeah, GG, Quattro. Get to that hot GG. Get out of here. Get out of here with your BS. Shark, I'm so sorry about everything. Yeah, right. After everything you pulled... You have to believe me, it was all because of Vitrix. I never should have followed his orders, but I did. When I dueled your sister, Vitrix forced me to use a powerful card. It was because of that card that she wound up hurt. I felt terrible about what had happened. I never meant to hurt her, but that's what Vitrix planned. As his son, I don't think 
I didn't think and just did what my father asked. Please, Shark, bring my real father back. Uh, rocking and rolling campaign duel, swimming with sharks, reverse, quattro deck avatar, gimmick puppetry, deck recipe, shadow should all, challenge deck, gimmick puppet of Leo, uh, gimmick puppet magic doll, or magnet doll, and gimmick puppet, puppet dreary doll, and some victory duel points. Alright, so in the next one we're doing rocking and rolling, and I'll probably rage and have to use my own deck, but I'm going to edit my deck here uh, between videos, uh, but I'm actually done for the day recording, but... Um, I am going to edit my deck between videos here, uh, so I'll probably start off, maybe I'll start off the next episode showing that, but maybe not, who knows. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.